So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to draw a pyramid. This is a three dimensional triangle and I'm going to start with my right hand and show you what it looks like drawing it with my left hand. Now, I don't know how to draw my left, so it's going to be a challenge. Let's check it out. Let's just try dive right into it. Learning these shapes are the building blocks to actually learn how to draw. So my tutorials are for beginners, people that want to learn how to draw, but don't know how to draw. So let's start with a point and then we find another point here where we want to draw a, a vertical line straight. straight vertical line. And now we want to divide this into say four equal parts. I'm going to show you guys a trick here to determine the height of the pyramid. Draw my horizontal line here, two points, and let's connect dots. I can see I'm flying through this with my right hand because I draw all the time on my right. Secret about learning how to draw is practice. So I've been practicing for years with my right hand. So you can see, this is a taller pyramid and I'm going to draw a shorter pyramid here very quickly. So you have your vertical line and then I'm going to draw my horizontal line just right in the middle, right in the middle. So now we have a cross like so. Two points here and then I'm just going to connect the dots very quickly. Follow, follow along guys. If you don't have an iPad, you can use a pen and a paper doesn't matter all along it can be rough this is just an outline so now you can see that this is obviously taller peak is higher here than here now let's create the illusion of three-dimensionality and all you do is you pick where you want your light source source to be so pick here same thing you want to pick it here that means this part would be in shadow or in shade we hatch it like so and do the same for the bottom like so easy peasy to give it to give it even uh, to give it an even more realistic feel let's put shadow so here's the trick this is what I do I just create an imaginary line here let's say that's where I want my shadow to end and then another sort of angular line coming down like so and I'll just connect the dots. This is a very rough way of predicting where the shadows could be. I do have a shadow tutorial and I'll put a link in the description below. So you can check that out so you can understand how shadows are created in three dimensional shapes. There you have it. So now you have the shadow for the tall pyramid and let's do a shadow for the shorter pyramid. Same thing, you have a line here and a line here. And you have shadow here as well very quickly very basic now we have our two pyramids let's give it an outline increase the line weight and just go through it like that sweet so this is what your pyramid should look like guys i think i did this in under under a minute, under two minutes, maybe at most. There you have it. You have tall pyramid, short pyramid. So let's go to the challenging part. Let's go back to our outline layer, bring this down to five, and let's start with the left hand. This is where the real tutorial starts. So like we did in the first pyramid, let's pick a point here. Let's pick a point here too, and connect the dot. That's, a, that's not a bad line for the left hand. That is not a bad line. I am actually impressed with myself. Divide this into four, like so, and then we get our horizontal. Yeah, it seems like horizontal lines are harder for me because I don't know why, but they are a little harder for me. This is not bad, guys. This is not bad. I'm doing a good job at the moment. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Connect the dot. Dot here, 
So if you're a beginner, maybe your drawing looks like this. Maybe even better, or maybe, maybe slightly worse, who knows. All that matters is that you just keep going. Respect the process, respect the process, and just follow along. I'll tell you a quick story. When I was in grad school, I had a friend who told me a principle of drawing that has stuck with me for the longest, and she said, always respect the line. When you respect the line, the idea of what you're trying to convey would always come across. And, and yo, that stuck with me throughout life. I always respect the line. And if you respect the line, it will grant you <laughs> that illusion that you're trying to create. Because all this is illusions. So, okay, I've drawn my top my tall pyramid look at that that looks really nice i'm impressed myself and i've actually even put the the hatch which is usually challenging for me but look at this i'm respecting the line and it's actually even better than this one it has more character okay let's try the shorter pyramid let's go like so so connect the dots guys follow along you're serious about learning how to draw you have to practice you have to follow along there's a hidden secret most people don't know that the ability to draw is not I think it's like 20% talent and then 80% consistency practice training and you know and once you have that ability it's like something that no one can take away from you it's it's an asset uh, and the value of that asset is very subjective you know there might be someone out there in the internet that would say hey I would pay you X amount of dollars for this specific sketch you know that's why it's always good to invest in these kind of talents like you know learning how to play an instrument or drawing I think it'll follow you throughout life and it makes you appreciate things you know that's just my opinion Okay, so now I'm done with the shorter pyramid. See, connect the lines and I've done the hatch. So now let's draw the shadow. Same thing, light source coming from here, light source coming from here. Let's start with this top one, maybe I go something like that. Let's connect this. Yes, I live in New York and you will always hear sirens. It's just a common thing out here. It's like if you go a day without hearing a siren, then something's wrong. Okay, so we do that. Okay. Hmm. This is not looking bad at all. I'm trying to respect the line. I'm trying to be patient. Let it come to me. And yes, take your time. And I think we are done here, guys. That's the right, that's the left. Let us put the outline in there and call it a day. Look at that. Comment below, let me know what you think about this tutorial. If this is an effective way of teaching, if it's not, then I will change it to accommodate you guys. That's the beauty about the internet. Uh, I was thinking about doing a cylinder or a sphere for my next tutorial or a combination of objects for my next tutorial. Check out my other tutorials. I have a tutorial on perspectives, tutorial on shading, like I said. Yeah, man, interesting stuff. Look at this. Connected the lines, the outline is there. I think this has more character. Let me, what do you think? I think this left sketch has more character than the right one. You know? Okay, so this is my right and this is my, I'm going to write it with my left, let's see, left, wow, not so bad, left, right. and hopefully the more tutorials, wow, that was bad, the more tutorials that I do, 
the better improvement you would see in my drawings to a point where you can't tell the difference. That's the goal. So guys, if you like this tutorial, hit that subscribe button, comment below. Let me know what you think. Share this video. Follow me on this journey as I train my left hand. And I, as I teach you guys how to, um, how to draw, just giving you the basic fundamentals. I'm gonna draw a little guy here. Look at this guy. Draw a little guy here too again. Jesus. Okay, let me do on this one. Boom, very quick. So much more control on this hand. And let me put shadow in this guy. Shadow like that, shadow like that. Put a shadow here as well. And there you have it. A guy looking at a pyramid. Beautiful. Yes. So, like I said, if you like this tutorial, hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to grow this channel. Goal is to hit a thousand before the end of the year. A thousand subscribers before the end of the year. So share this video. I'm gonna do more of these tutorials. And by the end of this series, yeah, I think it's gonna be a series, you're gonna be a master of drawing shapes and objects. And then we take it to the next level, how to create these pieces of, you know, maybe art architecture through these fundamental images, uh, fundamental objects. All right. Until next time, cheers guys, it's been a pleasure.